Infodium's news and today's top headlines are Center seeks separate reports from WB government on political violence, Dr. Steig. Chhattisgarh excels on Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana target, tops in the country. Six arrested in Punjab for thrashing women who failed to repay Rs. 23,000. Close to USD 1 billion approved for environment climate changes. G20 Energy Environment Chief meet, Chief meet in Japan and Middle East Pensions. Director General of Training Links Pact with Cisco Accenture to train youth for digital economy. Center seeks separate report from WB government on political violence, Dr. Steig, INN. Central government sought separate reports from the West Bengal government on the ongoing Dr. Steig and on political evidence in the state which claimed 160 lives in the past four years, officials said. In an advisory, the Ministry of Home Affairs told the West Bengal government that the Continued trend of political violence from 2016 to 2019 is an indicative of the failure on the part of the law enforcement machinery of state in maintaining the rules of law and inspire a sense of security among the people. The government of India is seriously concerned over, over the prevalent situation in West Bengal, it said. Chhattisgarh excels on Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana target tops in the country. INN. Chhattisgarh secured top position in the centrally sponsored scheme Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana to provide all weather road connectivity in rural areas of the state. The project review committee of the Ministry of Rural Development, appraising the performance of all states, found the accomplishment of the Chhattisgarh as the leading state of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana phase 2 attaining 89% of the target on road constructions during 2018-19 sources said. Tamil Nadu and Kerala were second and third achieving 80 and 72% respectively on their sanctioned road length target. Six arrested in Punjab for thrashing women who failed to repay Rs 23,000 INN. Six persons were arrested in Punjab with regards of lashing and kicking a woman. Sources say a woman who lashed with a leather belt, punched and kicked by a group of men after being dragged out of her house in Punjab Muktasa district has allegedly failed and for allegedly failing to repay Rs. 23,000 she had borrowed from one of them. A video of the brutal assault has gone viral, triggering outrage. An elderly woman who was trying to stop the accused were also pushed showed, showed the video. Police said the woman who assaulted as she was, as she could not pay Rs. 1000 to 23000 which she owed to one Suresh Chaudhary. She has been admitted to the civil hospital and, had, and was stated to be out of danger. Close to USG 1 billion approved for environment climate action. INL. Countries have approved programs and product projects worth amongst USD 1 million to, ta- to tackle growing threats to the, co- to the environment and to help some of the Earth's most wonder- vulnerable people adapt to, cha- to climate changes at the recent health me- meeting of Global Environment Facility in Washington. Recently, the new project range has been an ambition of to 232 billion million dollars integrated programs aimed at the transformational shift in the agriculture and land use systems that the that are major drivers of the world to help finishing people in time list improving the management of soils in caribbean island and tackling the illegal world wildlife tackle trade Directorate General of Training Inc's Pact with Cisco, Adventure of Train Youth for Digital Economy, INN. Director General of Training joined hands with Cisco and Essential to Train Youth for Digital Economy by setting up a future ready in employmentally skill, skilling programs for ITA students. The initial phase of the in classroom training program is being rolled out across 227 ITIs in Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Bihar and Assam, 
targeting more than 1 lakh youth amongst almost 15 lakh ITI students can access digital learning module through Bharat Skills Portal. The Directorate General of Training is under the ages of the Ministry for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Thank you.